Welcome back to my WWF LJN Customs channel, where this time around I'm going to work on a Nikita Koloff, one of my favorite wrestlers from back in the day, I believe NWA, uh, where he teamed up with Ivan, fought against the Road Warriors, and so, as always, I'm going to take an Iron Sheik, because I need a bald guy, muscular, and kind of has a Russian look to him, and so he'll work. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clean him up, and... Uh, uh, so this one should just be mostly a repaint and then fiddling with his mustache and I've got a chain that'll go with him too So that'd be pretty cool. I might actually open up his hands a little bit and uh, have him hold on to the chain But anyways, I want to take a second and thank you guys for uh, all of your support um, This past couple weeks. I haven't done a lot of filming um, mostly because um, my wife is battling cancer. She is um, uh, Right now at the hospital she's uh, uh, in the ICU unit and uh, had uh, her cancer removed. Um, so we're all on the positive side. Everything's uh, good so far. And I know some of you are probably like, well, why are you sitting at home? Well, because I can only go in for a certain amount of time and um, uh, she can only have one visitor. So I'm gonna go see her later this afternoon, but I thought I'd just do something uh, to uh, take my mind off of it. And that's uh, work on my figures. And so I've come home at night when my wife has uh, been in uh, the hospital and I've worked on these a little bit. Um, kids are all at friends' houses and uh, doing their own thing and, and we're handling it well. So uh, just wanted to give you my thanks because I know some of my friends are on this channel and uh, I want to give you a shout out for your support. And uh, um, if for everybody else, thank you for supporting this channel. I do appreciate it and I hope I'm doing some good for you and for your own hobbies as well. So, uh, all right, back to uh, uh, Nikita Koloff. All right, so here's uh, Nikita Koloff. What I've done is I've cleaned up his body, which I don't know why I took the time to do that because I've got to paint his pants down here. So unless I can really get it to match his skin, that was kind of pointless, but uh, oh well. Uh, I added a headband, uh, which the picture I have from Nikita does have that, a mustache. I put this around Sheik's belt because um, he just has a, a pair of shorts that he wears and uh, I wanted that smoothed out. Uh, he does wear wrist tape, he does have knee bands, knee bands, knee pads, so I added those. And the picture I have, have has him up with a finger in the air. So I took a Captain Albano that I took off of one of these fellas, and I added that up. So it worked pretty well. I smoothed it out because I don't want to put a wristband on it because he doesn't have one. He doesn't typically wear a wristband, and I want to just uh, make it flesh color. So we'll see how that works. So the rest of it really should be paint. Um, yeah, so I'll try to finish that up tonight. All right, so here's... Uh, Nikita Koloff. What I've done is I've cleaned up his body, which I don't know why I took the time to do that because I've got to paint his pants down here. So unless I can really get it to match his skin, that was kind of pointless, but uh, oh well. Uh, I added a headband, uh, which the picture I have from Nikita does have that, a mustache. I put this around Sheik's belt because um, he just has a, a pair of shorts that he wears and uh, I wanted that smoothed out. Uh, he does wear wrist tape. He does have knee bands, knee bands, knee pads. So I added those. And the picture I have, have has him up with a finger in the air. So I took a Captain Albano that I took off of one of these fellas and I added that up. So it worked pretty well. I smoothed it out because I don't want to put a wristband on it because he doesn't have one. He doesn't typically wear a wristband and I want to just uh, make it flesh color. So we'll see how that works. So the rest of it really should be paint. Um, yeah, so I'll try to finish that up tonight. All right, so here is where I am on Nikita Koloff. Um, I did have a couple more videos, but apparently I must have erased them. My bad. So originally an Iron Sheik. What I did is I cut his hand, I flipped it around. I did have to put a wristband on. I really don't want to do that. Um, but uh, the problem is I could not get it down well enough to where I wanted it. So I uh, just, uh, just slapped that on and it's good enough. It's fine for what I want. Uh, put his uh, tape on, uh, try to smooth out his tummy a little bit. That didn't work out so well. I don't know if I'm going to go back over that again, but that's all right. I'm happy with how it is. Uh, added his um, knee pads uh, and his headband, and I've started painting some of the other parts uh, that need to be painted, like his beard and his mustache, his chest hair, and uh, his arm hair, too. Um, there's the uh, hammer and sickle there that I've added, as well as the USSR up top. Uh, don't worry about the um, 
uh, you're like, ah, it's not a great paint job. Yeah, no, I'm not done yet. <laughs> I'm going to have a, a little bit more time on him, but uh, so far, so good. Uh, I have a chain for him somewhere, and I have a, a belt that's going to be coming here soon. So a uh, chain makes a heck of a difference. There you go. All right, so uh, just a little bit more on Nikita Koloff. Welcome back to my WWF LJN Customs channel, where this time around, I am taking a black LJN ring. No, not that one, because I've already redone it. And I'm going to turn it into something else. So those not familiar with the LJN rings, I believe 96 is when they uh, redid them, used the same mold. However, you can tell the corner posts from a regular LJN from one that's from the 90s, a little bit different there. So I've done a couple of these rebuild uh, rings and I've got well, quite a few. I'm known for my rings, I guess. Uh, I just think it's, I'm not trying to hoard them. They're just a real easy way to display them and I like to display them in the actual ring. So I'm running out of room. So I started to get, I got a couple more and uh, this one's done. I put a couple guys in it. This one, I'm just going to put some ring ropes on. I'm not going to redo it. But I got a black one, and I decided I want to try something different. So what I did is I took it outside, and I painted it orange. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a Halloween Havoc ring. Um, now I know that that's a WCW thing, but uh, WWE did have it at least one year or so. Uh, and I just want to do a different ring, something that's a little more designed and stands out, because I got plenty of the other ones. So why not just do a custom ring? So I uh, took it outside, and again, this is black to begin with, and I put this rustoleum on it. This is, where's the color? I don't know. Some kind of orange, probably right where, there it is, <laughs> rustic orange, right in the front where I'm not looking. So I put three coats on it after I uh, clean the ring up as best as I can. Uh, I did have some gouges and stuff in it, but I'm not nitpicky on it. Um, the ring posts were originally uh, black and, no, they, yeah, they were black. Uh, and I screwed it up and, and painted them white because I had two different ideas on it. So I'm just going back over them again with my trusty jet black. I have black ring ropes coming. And I have some special stickers from Cincy LJN um, that are going to be Halloween Havoc. So uh, um, this one's almost done. It's just waiting on the ropes on Monday and whenever uh, Cincy LJN gets back to me. And uh, we'll have that all figured out. So uh, there you go. We'll see this final project uh, here pretty soon.